Okay, so this is Recall Box version 7.0.1. It's just had an update uh, and I'm running it from my Nest Pi 4 case. I've got a 500 gig drive in here with the Damaso build, uh, just the ROMs. So 500 gigs worth of Damaso ROMs and some of my own that I've added as well. Uh, but I'm also running from the micro SD card, which you can just about see there. Uh, that's running the OS, so that's running Recall Box and I'm using a wired Xbox 360 controller. So let's switch over to screen capture. Okay, so if I flick through the systems, you can see that it runs incredibly smooth. Uh, this version is, is really nice to look at and feels very professional. Uh, also, one thing that I noticed is the menus are definitely more sort of user-friendly and logical than RetroPie. Now, I, I love RetroPie and especially the Supreme Team builds of RetroPie are excellent and really, really well supported. But you maybe have to do a little bit of work to sort of learn how to use the system. This is definitely more sort of jump straight in and use. Although I did have some problems with the BIOS. Um, so some of the BIOS files weren't there and I didn't find it that logical where to put them. A lot of the guides don't really refer to Raspberry Pi, they refer to other systems. But you can see I've managed to get the Dreamcast BIOS in the right place. Uh, and what's nice is this it does this BIOS checking, so it shows you that everything is right, shows you where it should be as well, you can see the file path there. Uh, although that didn't make an awful lot of sense to me initially, uh, but then when I realized that it was definitely looking towards my 500 gig drive, so if I go into system settings, you can see my storage device, I changed it to 500 gig. So I put all my Damaso ROMs on my 500 gig drive, popped it in, uh, and then all I had to do was run this scraper. And it picked up loads of videos and artwork and things like that. It took quite a while, uh, but then once it had done it, uh, so if I go into a system, so ZX Spectrum, let's try that. Uh, and you can see I haven't got a lot of games. In fact, I don't think I, no, I didn't put any of these games in there, I don't think. Uh, but you can see that that, as scraped and, and showing all the data. If you go to Commodore 64, so a lot of these games I've put in, but it doesn't seem to recognize them, so it must be something to do with the naming as to why it hasn't recognized it. But some of the others, so Dreamcast has worked perfectly well. So with all these ROMs that came from the Damaso build, uh, if I was to go to something, you can see it will start playing a video of it. And I like all the sort of spinny transitions and everything like that, it's super slick. Really, really nice to see. So I've added a few things to it as well. Uh, so I've added uh, Dave Mirror, let's go back up. But um, this was something that I, I attempted to get working on other systems and so that's why it's called Attempt 2. So there's no artwork or anything for that. So I need to rename that and then, then re-scrape and that will then do what Daytona's doing here. So it will give you uh, a synopsis of the game, it will give you the video and, uh, and just, just great really. So if I go into Dave Mirror, Unfortunately, this runs too fast, but it does seem to run too fast on absolutely everything. So I know I've got all the right BIOS files. Uh, the, the music plays fine, uh, but for some reason it just, uh, the, the actual bike moves too fast. And you can tell that it's moving too fast because the seconds on the clock go a lot faster than they should do. And I've used this game uh, on, on other systems, so on PlayStation and Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX on other systems as well and uh, I know that they don't run too fast, they run at the correct speed. So I just need to turn off music because, so my last video, well actually video before last, for the twinkly lights, uh, which are excellent, uh, I got two, not copyright strikes, they just, they just demonetize your video and say there's no warnings or anything, you, you're just, someone else is making money out of your video, which is fine by me because I got some free lights out of it. Starboy by The Weeknd and Greenlight by Lord, both of those, I used really short uh, short clips of those songs and uh, it still picks them, picked them up, but other ones it didn't pick up, So, uh, but it only needs one for it to be demonetized. So let's go straight in. But I used to, uh, in several of my videos before, I always used to use the sort of 10 second unwritten rule, but I'm sure someone had mentioned it to me before that if you use less than 10 seconds, it's fine. But the, uh, certainly the Lord track was really short, uh, and, but it recognized it, and obviously there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I could mute it from the video, but I think I'll just leave it as it is. So you can see this runs amazingly fast. I mean, you know, I think the graphics are decent on this. 
It is an incredible game. I've always loved it, but uh, annoyingly it just runs too fast. So I tend to play Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2 on my Wii U, but I play the GameCube version. So anyway, you can see that's working, but way, way too fast. Let's quit out of that. And everything everything runs fast and just it, it just seems really polished. I don't know about Demolition Racer. I'm not sure if I remember that one. Not on Dreamcast, anyway. And the Dreamcast, this uses the uh, Flycast version. I got This is what I got from the SBC podcast. Not ReDream, and, and ReDream is excellent. But to be fair, things that I've been trying on this have been working, and, uh, and it is still a good, solid Dreamcast emulator. It is amazing how well Dreamcast runs on, on the Pi 4, because the games do look good, and... Uh, and they are, you know, quite graphically intensive, but it's it emulates it just incredibly well. Oh, different buttons, trigger buttons. Oh, crikey, this is a a jerky system. Loads of cars though, that, and it's not it's not struggling from the amount. Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is quite decent, you know. I could do with it being slightly less twitchy, you know. Uh, some other get whoa. But then I guess that's part of the appeal on a game like this that it's all a bit erratic and a bit crazy. Yeah, that, that's all right. I think I'll go back to that. Can I slide? Oh, not with that button. Right, so A is brake. I wonder if I've got a, and also left trigger is brake. Yeah, this, this actually feels all right. I like the physics of it. And it looks pretty decent. <laughs> so let's quit out of that. And if I go back to systems, uh, I wanted to show, so N64 is definitely less compatible on this than it is on the Supreme Ultra build. Now, I haven't looked enough into this. This isn't me saying one system's better, better than the other. They both have their own merits, and I'm just so glad that uh, we've got uh, such great systems on the Pi 4. It's nice to have a bit of competition. Uh, but yeah, so Excite Bike, I know works on lots of different emulators, uh, this particular ROM just doesn't seem to recognize it and I've had the same with uh, Destruction Derby 64 but to show you one that does work and works fine if I go into Hydro Thunder Another racing game now it's quite soft the resolution on N64 but N64 does seem to be a harder system to emulate uh, Dreamcast seems to be much more compatible but this, this runs absolutely fine. And you see with this, I've, this, this game uh, uses the digital buttons uh, for steering. And I think for some games it definitely works better than using the analog stick. Because this, this feels nice and responsive. And uh, I, I really like the water physics and things like that. It is a really nice competitive game. So as you can see, runs perfectly well. Let's quit out of that. Now I've been playing around with the BIOS files. Uh, if I go into main menu and BIOS checking, you can see that certain BIOS files are in there. Couldn't see one for N64, uh, whether it comes under something else, but Dreamcast, I managed to get them sorted out. And uh, as you can see, that was working absolutely fine. Some systems don't need BIOSes, but I do like this system of it showing you where it's supposed to be. So I like this BIOS Painter ROM. It shows you exactly where it's supposed to be. Recall box share BIOS Painter dot ROM. Uh, and so you can make sure it's in the right folder. I did have a bit of um, confusion as to where to put that. But because I run this from my 500 gig physical drive, uh, I worked out that it, it has to go on that drive. Uh, because it's looking for those files there, uh, not on the actual recall box operating system. But it depends how you set up your system. But because I'm using this 500 gig Damaso build, that's the way I'm doing it. So let's quit out of that and just flick through a few more systems. I should have tried PPSSPP on here, or PSP. Anything that I haven't tried, I won't do any more driving games. Oh look, GTA is one of mine, uh, so that obviously that's slightly wrongly named uh, something I've added but Gran Turismo you can see is in there that looks decent but I can't do only driving games let's do a bit of Little Big Planet 
Okay, so this looks like it's running nicely. Whoop. This is a really nicely stylized game. I keep meaning to, I've only really had a brief look at it. Uh, I keep meaning to have a try of this because it, it does look amazing. Oh, you don't, you don't need to duck under there. Anyway, so let's quit out of that. Oh, so we have to quit out differently on this. Okay, so the normal quit out doesn't work. So what I'm gonna have to do is plug in my keyboard because I haven't got my keyboard plugged in to my Nest Pi 4 case. So let's plug the little dongle in and try pressing escape. No, oh, F4, no, try not delete. Oh, so I haven't got a way of quitting out of this. Okay, so I've restarted with Ubuntu Unity, and the reason I've done that is it perfectly recognizes all the files and folders. So I've got my 500 gig drive, uh, which is holding the Damaso ROMs. You can see the tiny little SD card here in the reader. That's got recall box on it, but it's not running it at the moment because I want to access the files. And then in the little SD card slot, that's the 32 gig micro SD card, which is running Ubuntu. So let's switch over to screen capture again. Okay, so we're going to folders, just to show you what I've got plugged in here. So this is my 500 gig drive, and also this is the recall box micro SD card, which is 128 gig. It doesn't need to be because pretty much everything is stored on this one. So if I go into the 500 gig drive, you can see I've got a recall box folder, and I've got a ROMs folder, and this is all the Damaso ROMs. And actually, loads of things work straight off without you having to do anything else. Just put those ROMs in there, uh, tell the system that you're using the 500 gig drive as your storage, and it, and it works. But uh, I also noticed that when I looked at the BIOS files, lots of them were missing. Uh, I'll direct you over to this video, which is uh, useful and has a good link on there. Uh, so have a look at that. So I put my BIOS files in two folders. I've got one here inside Recallbox called BIOS. Uh, and so I dumped them all in there. Also, because the system was looking like it wanted them to be share and then BIOS, I created the same folder uh, and I put BIOS in there. So I've got them on there twice. I'm not sure which one works. Someone might be able to tell me in the comments, uh, but obviously more investigation will show that up. Anyway, that's how it all runs. Uh, I'm really impressed with Recallbox. It is great. I hope you all like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.